Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. James E., the Fresh Pharmacist, and if you're turning in to today's episode, well, you probably just had coitus, didn't you? Oh, by the way, coitus just means sex, but I think it kind of has a slightly better ring to it, doesn't it? Okay, so you just engaged in a little coital action, yay for you, right? Or <laughs> not so much. So what happened? Either A, condom broke, B, your diaphragm dislodged, or C, and let's be real honest about this, you probably didn't have a plan A to begin with, so keep it honest. Whatever the case is, we are on a limited time schedule right now, and the sooner you take action, the better. So what's your main option to go to? I like to call it a little post-coital contraception. So, who's your friend for today? This guy. Oh, plan B. It's just like one of those old faithful friends. You know you can always count on. But how does it work? Well, let me break it down for you. So you're probably wondering, what exactly is plan B anyway? Well, it's an over-the-counter hormonal pill. It contains about 1.5 milligrams of levonorgestrel. Basically, it's the same thing you would find in your day-to-day -day pack or your girl's day-to-day -day pack of birth control pill. But what's the difference? The only main difference is that it's a much higher dose than what you would find in your day-to-day -day pack. So when do you use plan B? So as we said earlier, you just engage in coitus and your condom broke, your diaphragm dislodged, or you just didn't have any sort of protection to begin with. So that's when you're gonna use it to help prevent any sort of future unplanned pregnancies. But how do you take it? It's one tablet, one shot, one kill. Yeah, I probably don't wanna use the word kill. We'll get to that in a second. So plan B, when used correctly within a 72 hour window, can actually help prevent any unplanned pregnancies from condom breakage or unprotected sex. So there's a couple methods for how the medication works in plan B. The first one is ovulation. It actually prevents or slows down the ovulation of an egg. So as a female, if you can't release that egg and now you have sperm entering to fertilize it, if there's no egg, there's no fertilization, there's no baby. Step two, well, it actually prevents sperm from reaching the egg. Well, how does it do that? So sperm has to swim through the vaginal canal and eventually reach the egg. But if there's a thick cervical mucus, it's kind of like swimming in a pool full of jelly. You're pretty much not going to make it to that egg. So if we can prevent that sperm from hitting that egg, Again, a reduction in pregnancy, so there is no actual abortion. So if you take it correctly, this tablet can keep you or prevent you from getting pregnant. But this is the most important part of the segment. You have three days. Three days is all you have to have the highest effectiveness. So if you take in plan B correctly within that 72 hour or three day window, you have a pretty good chance of not getting pregnant. There are studies that show that there's an 85% reduction in possibility of being pregnant. So that's about seven out of eight women will not get pregnant if they take the medication correctly. How important is it? Postponing it by just 12 hours increases your risk by 50%, 50% increase. So it's in your best interest to take that joint as soon as possible to help reduce any sort of pregnancies. So you just took the tablet or you're about to take the tablet. What are the most likely things to expect before you take it? Maybe some stomach upset, especially if you're the type that gets nauseated after taking a piece of Tylenol or something like that, you might have experienced a little discomfort there. Usually what I'll do is expect or suggest a little drama meat. It's over the counter, commonly used to help with any sort of motion sickness, but it can be used in this case to help pre-medicate you in, in terms of nauseousness or vomiting. If you take it perhaps an hour before you start to take the plan B, it might help you in that scenario. But of course, with anything, you want to hit up your doctor, hit up the local pharmacist, just to make sure there aren't any interactions between this, your plan B, or, or any other medications you might be currently taking. The main ingredient in Dramamine is meclizine, which is uh, basically can be used as an anti-emetic, anti-nausea medication, commonly used for any sort of motion sickness, things like that. So a couple things about plan B that are not true. One, it's not an abortion pill. It stops ovulation of the egg, so that way sperm can't get to it. There's no fertilization. It also stops the sperm from reaching the egg. Again, can't reach it, can't fertilize it. There's no baby. Two, so it doesn't help in regards to the safety of STDs. It will not protect you from any HIV, syphilis, herpes. Those are all on the table. So we're not using it for that, so always keep that in mind. Also, if you're already pregnant, it won't work. So you're not, you won't harm the baby if you did take the pill, but it's not something where if you do know you're pregnant, don't even bother, don't even waste the money, because it won't help, it won't prevent the uh, pregnancy, it won't terminate the pregnancy, so don't even bother going that route, okay? 
Plan B should not be taken every day. It's one of those things you do once in a blue moon when you just happen to have a slip up or an accident. In actuality, you should be using a condom or you should be at least on some sort of long-term birth control. They're shown to be safe and effective, so if you have to go down to the local parenthood and do what you have to do, go ahead and get your prescription, get it set up, and just get on a daily routine. That, in the long run, is gonna actually save you a lot of heartache, a lot of anxiety, and a lot of money. Also, how do you know if the medications work? So if it's been a week or more and you still haven't had your period, then you might be pregnant. At that point, you should just go to the store, get an at-home pregnancy test, or go to your local or your primary OBGYN doctor just to get yourself checked out, just to make sure you aren't indeed pregnant. So it's not uncommon that I get asked, can I take Plan B on more than one occasion? And I mean, technically you can, but, but should you really be having that many emergencies where you have to take Plan B? Answer is no. So if you find yourself taking a Plan B that often, then you might want to reconsider why are you having these issues. I mean, if you're taking that many Plan Bs every day, that starts to add up because these are for sure not cheap. I mean, you can always go with the generic route, like we said. This one was $49.99, this one is $39.99. Regardless, it's pretty expensive, not something you want to be shelling out each and every or every couple days. You're honestly better off going to a Planned Parenthood or going to your, your primary physician and seeing if you can get maybe a month or maybe a three month supply of birth control. Oh, and a side note, if you're on any other medications, it's something you really want to take a closer look at. So if you're on any HIV medications, anti-seizure medications, mood altering medications, a lot of those things can actually cause your body to break down the medication or your plan B really fast, so much so that it's ineffective. So unless you like wasting your money, I would advise you to just go down to your local pharmacist, check it out, make sure that there's no interactions. That way you can be sure when you're taking the medication, it's actually effective. All right, so that's today's take home for plan B. You got a small little Cliff Notes version so you can at least have some idea of what to expect. So what's the main take home? Wrap it up, use a condom, buy some birth control. You can easily find it at your local Planned Parenthood. Get a month or a three month supply. Okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on the email below. I'll leave a link below or hit me up on my Twitter. Don't worry, all your information is safe with me. I won't say a word. But in the meantime, remember that little thing that I said about time being of the essence? Uh, hello, remember what we said? Three day window. The longer you take, the worse it is. Yeah, so you're gonna wanna get moving. Let's step up your step, let's go. But actually, since you're here, um, while I have you, see that little button right down below? This little, little red button. Kinda looks like this. Yeah, you're gonna wanna press that one. Well, I mean, how else are you going to see all these dope videos that are about to come out? In the meantime, it's your boy, Dr. James E, the Fresh Pharmacist. Until next time, holla at your boy. Peace. Hey.